Let's go on a ride along with the Order's members as they help a woman whose children are stolen by a man who always keeps his eyes shut. Is this case a simple child kidnapping or something much worse? Let's find out in our review of The Magic Order Volume 5 Number 1 from Dark Horse Comics. See you in 3. Welcome back to Comical Opinions. This is our review of The Magic Order Volume 5 Number 1. Whoa, before you get too far into this one, we've got to give you a little bit of a warning here. Magic Order Volume 5 Number 1 may be triggering for adults who have a sensitive fear of child snatchers. Mark Miller isn't afraid to go to dark places in this first issue of the last volume in the series, which it's advertised as such, so it appears Miller intends to end the series by swinging for the fences with some really unsettling stuff. The Magic Order Volume 5 Number 1 begins with an introduction to Carly Summers, a young mother whose son was kidnapped on the playground by a bat-wielding man with a sigil carved on his forehead and who also keeps his eyes closed the entire time, even though he seems to be able to move around like he knows where he's going. After the expected rounds of investigations and press conferences, Carly's son is never seen again. 18 years later, and after the end of her marriage due to increasing tension, alcoholism, all kinds of problems, Carly has moved on with a new man and a new child until, unfortunately, a knock on the door starts the nightmare all over again. Ah! Ouch! <laughs> if you're a parent or an older sibling, you've likely had that horror fantasy pop up in your mind at least once in your lifetime. Mark Miller doesn't visit that horror upon Carly once, but twice over the years. So get ready to start the series with a hyper cringe of dread because uh, it's the last thing anybody wants to see is kids getting kidnapped. But you get it not only once, but twice. You get a double dose and ugh, it just puts you off and sets you on edge right from the get-go. In the present, we catch up then with Cordelia, Moonstone, and Gator, who use a magic pathway to arrive at the hospital where Carly Summers rests to look into her case. She's still recovering from the second attack, which is the most recent one, and the kidnapping of her second child. After a brief explanation that the Order has come to find her missing children, Cordelia cracks an egg into a bowl for a location spell. She then magically induces a restful sleep and a memory wipe on Carly to make sure that she never repeats what she just heard and saw. The hunt for the magical child snatcher has begun. Once the order arrives, Mark Miller reminds readers why this series is so successful. Cordelia, Gator, and the rest of the order treat mysterious cases with an easy sort of matter-of-fact charm that's kind of captivating and fascinating in how simple and uh, reassuring it is. The Order is populated with the most powerful and possibly dangerous people on the planet, and yet they come across as friendly office workers who are here to keep you safe. They're just doing their job, and you get that calmness that comes with it, and the whole thing is just fascinating. Elsewhere, we catch up with a gentleman by the name of Clyde, who has been referenced as appearing elsewhere in the Miller World universe, if you will. He steps out onto the streets after his release from prison. Clyde decided to turn over a new leaf while he was in the big house, so he didn't intend to use his power and demonic connections to do any more harm than he could get away with. The demonic Harry greets Clyde at the gate with a job offer. Assassinate Cordelia Moonstone at the behest of very powerful individuals. Back at the hospital, the egg yolk has settled. Cordelia believes she has the location of the missing child. The order heads out to a lonely location where an old trailer rests on an abandoned lot. What the Order finds, however, is not what they expected. The issue ends with a slow heartbeat, a smiling face that isn't friendly in the least, and a whole new world for Cordelia. Or is it? You'll have to wait and see. Overall, the Magic Order of Volume 5 Number 1 will upset you, may fascinate you, probably will surprise you, and at the very least it'll make you question what you thought you knew about the Order. If you're already a fan of the series, you'll get more of what you already like, which is great. If this series is new to you, you just might become a convert by the time the issue is done. Let's switch gears and talk about the art for a second. Artist Matteo Bufagni, I think I'm saying that right, has the unenviable task of depicting violence against mothers and child kidnappings without getting schlocky or gratuitous. Here, Bufagni gives readers just enough shock value to sting, but not so much as to distract from the overall narrative. You need to feel sympathy for Carly's plight without being so traumatized that you can't pay attention to anything else that's going on. On that point, Bafagni succeeds beautifully. Let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture with one particular character that's introduced in this issue. 
we get a look at a character by the name of Clyde, but it's unclear if this Clyde is the same character known as Clyde Wincham Jr., who Mark Miller first created from Marvel Comics, but has since brought the character in to appear in other Miller World titles, such as Kick-Ass. If this Clyde is the same Clyde, who also goes by the name of the Marquis of Death, which is, can't be a good thing for anybody, the Order is in for a really rough time. Final thoughts, what do we think about the Magic Order of Volume 5, Number 1? It begins the last volume in the series with a gut-wrenching crime that's every parent's nightmare. Mark Miller grabs you from page one with a crime that leads to a magical threat for the entire order, and Matteo Bafagni's art strikes a perfect balance between shock value and mature drama. Therefore, The Magic Order, Volume 5, Number 1, earns a 10 out of 10. The first issue will fascinate you and unsettle you, which is a rare combination. But what do you think? Are you up for some disturbing magic to darken your day? Leave a thumbs up if you are, and drop a comment below with which Middle World title is your favorite so far. Also, remember to click on the link in the description to read the written review, check out the variant covers and preview images, and buy this comic to help support the channel. Your support is greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for joining, and stay tuned through the outro for more reviews just like this one.